Hi, I'm Serenity Bulletin. Beach Final Arc arrived at its conclusion around five years and a half ago. In it, we saw a bunch of interesting fights, new key elements and ideas in relation to the law of the Bleach story and its world, a completely tied into its antagonist who achieves great feats, and of course, we were introduced to a new group of antagonists for the Shinigami, the Stand Reader. Every single one of them possesses a unique ability, and every one of those are baptized with a different Romanic alphabet letter. However, in the midst of 2022, alongside the existence of a fan club where fans can get their questions answered by Kubo himself, we still don't know the name of a few of those powers. So in this video, I will try to name all of those unrevealed holy letters, based of course on all the available information about those characters. With that said, let's dive into the video. Alright, before we start, I would like to briefly remind you what the holy letters or shrifts are. A shrift is the inscription of a letter, the initial one of the latent power of an individual, onto the depths of his soul, meaning it's the most powerful method Jehovah you know can use to deeply share his soul onto an individual, thus awakening an individual's latent power or ability thanks to the power within Jehovah's you know fragments of soul. Therefore, the power of this holy letter will vary depending on the individual's experiences and personality in question. So, with that clear, I'm gonna try to name the first unrevealed shrift, the letter K of this 10 reader PG9. The first doubt that could go into your mind could be how the fuck a robot has Quincy powers alongside his own shrift. Well, the first thing you need to know is the Bleach universe is formed out of souls, meaning not only conscious beings like humans and animals, or things that we consider to be alive, like plants, have souls. As Ginjo explains, everything in this world has a soul, either in small or big quantities, and even objects that we consider to be unconscious, like a chair or a glass, possesses souls even though it's a small quantity. Therefore, we have to understand the concept of soul as that which formed all the existing things in the Bleach universe, excluding the world of the living in a way, because those souls made out of Reishi are locked inside a body composed of Kishi, the latter being the equivalent of atoms in our reality, meaning Kishi are the particles which compose everything in the human world. So, the physical things are composed of particles known as Kishi, while spiritual things are composed of particles known as Reishi. So, VG9, who is an automaton, also possesses a soul. Therefore, Yuhovak is capable of sharing his soul with him thus modifying bg 9s soul to be able to gather spirit particles as an artificial Quincy, and in turn, also inscribing a holy letter in bg 9s soul. Now, what's bg 9s holy letter K about? Well, bg 9 showcases a good amount of abilities. We can see him using guided missiles, extension cables, and the bow or weapon he can cast with his Quincy cross, it's a machine gun. But unfortunately, we can see it firing any helic field or sacred arrows in a bullet shape, because Soifon could sit in half. However, the most remarked ability by BG9 itself is its capability of gathering data through its visual and auditory sensors, which can retain any type of data regardless of the time spent by. As BG9 implies, when says to Soifon her Shunko should be incomplete, because BG9's data dates from Yuriichi and Soifon's battle because BG9, alongside the rest of the Quincy army, were always in some society's shadows, thus observing all the events occurring in it since the beginning of the story. So, by my own criteria, there's only one word which perfectly depicts BG9's shrift ability of gathering and retaining data. So, to me, his shrift gave its name the knowledge, and frankly, I doubt it would turn out to be a more far-fetched name, because Kubo, excluding some exceptional cases, always tries to use quotidian and easy to understand terms for the reader, like the power, the fear, the love, the miracle, etc. Next is Robert Akutron, an experienced and effective stand reader, and who also, alongside Quilgyopia and Jugram, 
seems to be aware of Juhabak's cruel practices on the Stern Raiders. Robert summons a pistol through his Quincy Cross, and we have only seen him using three techniques. First, we see him using the Helic Field or Sacred Arrows proper of the Quincy, but in a bullet shape. And finally, we see him using Hero and Kyaku, which is a faster Shunpo like technique used by the Quincy's, and we can also see him using his ball standing. We can assume it's called Grimanian, because on the Japanese and Spanish versions, the translation says God Step Grimanian, meaning he fiercely uses Hero and Kyaku or God Step and in turn activates his ball standing, calling it by its name. However, none of the previous mentioned techniques had something to do with his letter N. Only his ball standing name should be related with his shrift's abilities, as we can see with asking Nagleba. But frankly, I haven't found any useful information regarding the name Grimanian. However, what's clear is his power has something to do with a speed or nimble increase over his body movements. Because in all instances where Robert fights someone, he always achieves to surprise his opponents with his speed and fast nimbleness, achieving milestones such as catching up with Ichigo's speed, and probably even more due to him taking his time to talk to Ichigo before he aims him on his head, and he even accomplishes to easily evade a direct attack from Ichigo. He also accomplishes to surprise Shunsui twice, first with pure speed movement, and second while reacting to Shunsui's despair over Yamamoto's death. And also, it's implied by the panel composing that Robert's reaction of firing Shunsui was almost instant. So, in order to see if his power really has to do with what I commented, let's break down the meaning behind his name. Robert is a German origin name, and its roots are linked with Roberto Francisco Romulo Bellarmino, because in Germany, in the 16th century, a protestant reformation was carried out in opposition to the church, and it was leadered by Martin Lutero, a philosopher, theologian and catholic friar of the time. And of course, from Italy, they react with a counter-reformation. In it, the inquisitor Roberto Francisco Romulo Bellarmino took an active role of defending the faith and catholic doctrines which Martin Lutero wanted to change. So much so, that Roberto Bellarmino became known as the Hammer of Heretics. So, if we take a look into the meaning behind Robert's name based on the attitude of Roberto Bellarmino, we can find some interesting coincidence in relation to Robert Sakutron's character. To all men known as Robert, they are described as honest and straightforward. They also have a great sensibility to find out what's going on around them, and they also are against injustices. Therefore, they will never pardon a disloyalty. As we can see, in personality terms, it fits well with Robert Sakutron's character. He's someone honest and straightforward with his opponents. He has a clear notion of what's going on, as we can see when he warns Lil Toto and Giselle about the incoming of Valen and its consequences. And he also doesn't tolerate injustices, thus explaining why Robert loses his temper when he's about to be killed by Dios Valen, because he knows that due to his age, he will die, but some of his companions can still aspire to live a bit longer while the silver cloud develops inside their hearts. If you want to know why I've arrived at this conclusion, I encourage you to watch my video about Dios Valen. There, I explain, in the most logical way possible, how I think this ability of Juhabak works. Finally, we have the fact that they will never pardon a disloyalty. As we can see, when Robert tames on Lil Toto's head, because she comments to Giselle that she killed Pepe Wakabrada to fulfill her vengeance, due to Pepe using Meninas in order to attack and thus fight with Lil Toto. Therefore, when Robert listens to this conversation, his first action is to appear while aiming at Lil Toto's head, due to her killing one of his comrades. As you can see, Robert's name fits perfectly with his character's actions. However, this only serves us to have a better understanding of the character. So now, let's see if we can find some clue about his power on his surname, Akutron. Akutron comes from the word Akutron without the E at the end. And without going technically in depth, Akutron was a watch model invented by Bulova in the 60s. And this watch, in regards to its competitors, offered a major movement frequency of the watch hands. While the rest of watch is offered a 10 second daily variation, the Akutron offered a major speed movement of its hands, thus resulting in an only 2 second delay per day. This being the most precise watch to indicate the hours during a day. However, Due to the invention of quartz watches, 
which offered around a 0.3 to 0.5 second delay during a day, the Accutron ceased its production. So, as we can see, the short name Accutron is inspired by a mechanism which offered a superior major speed movement in regards to its congeners. So we can almost be sure that his holy letter N has something to do with the increase of speed movement or his fast speed to perform his movements, or in other words, an increase on his motor agility. So, to me, his holy letter N is called the nimbleness, because it's a common and easy to understand name like the overall rest of holy letters names, and also perfectly depicts his ability of achieving extreme movement and reaction speed despite his apparent advanced age. Roberto Couton also possesses some aesthetic similarities with cowboys, with his moustache, his gun, and his quick draw of the pistol characteristic of a cowboy, and even Robert himself describes himself as an stoic individual, meaning someone that stays firm to adversity, a proper trait of a cowboy as well. But I think the direct reference of his surname, Akutron, better explains and serves as a more valid reasoning to explain the power of his holy letter N. Before I finish, maybe someone remembers as Domino, that is the reader which only appears once in the manga and thus we shouldn't have to know the name of his shrift nor his power. However, in the 13 Blades data book, it's explained what happens to this character, going into his powers and story, while at the same time, it's also narrated what happens to Isurukira during the second Queen's invasion over Serete. If you would like to know about those interesting events, let me know in the comments. Alright, here ends this theory video. I hope at least you better understand these Eastern Ritters which aren't usually discussed in the English nor Spanish Blitz community. On my part, I will be preparing a very interesting video about the Hogyoku, trying to explain and unveil all the mysteries around it. Also, I wanna add that if you would like to see a video discussing a specific Stan Ritter, excluding asking Naglebar, cause I've already planned out a video on him, let me know in the comments. Finally, thank you for watching, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. And don't forget to press the bell to receive a notification every time I upload new Blitz content. I remind you to go over my Twitter or Instagram if you wanna be informed about the latest updates about my videos, and I will see you soon. Bye!